All right, guys, as a continuation of the previous video, we're going to go over how to hit brush piles, or in this case, a Georgia cube, which is just a man-made piece of structure that someone placed in the lake. So first things first, we've got to go over a couple graph setups in order to make our lives a lot simpler when targeting these offshore pieces of structure. So let's jump to the front graph and say I got the front graph set up. Okay, a few key settings that we need to do to the front graph in order to make it easier to hit our waypoints. So we're gonna hit the menu button twice and we're gonna scroll over to settings and we're gonna come down to user mode. It's probably gonna be on angler. You need to switch it to custom. That'll allow us to set up uh, casting rings and vectors and stuff like that. So come up to the very top, scroll over to chart come down and we need to set our chart orientation to head up. I know a lot of guys like it north up, but trust me on this, head up is going to make it so much easier. It allows the graph to rotate as you're moving forward, and that's very important. Okay, so once we have it set to head up, we're going to go back up and we're going to come back down, come over to nav navigation, and we're going to set our casting rings to 60 feet. Then keep scrolling down course projection line to COG or slash SOG. It's probably going to be on standard or single vector. What this does is it gives a course projection line whenever you move forward. Let's see if we do that real quick. Let's see if we can get it show up. That. It provides that little vector that comes off that showing you 60 feet, 120 feet. And when we set up the waypoint, uh, the casting rings, that's what these are here. And it just puts a 60 foot circle around your waypoint. So let's get lined up on this uh, Georgia cube and let's look at it first on while graphing at the main graph and then we will try to hit this thing. All right guys, we're coming up here on our waypoint. We're gonna try to just come across it straight, uh, as straight of an angle as possible. I've already got this found. I've, you didn't have to sit around and watch a boring part of me finding this stuff. So cruising across hit it from the side a little bit so we can see it on side imaging. It's going to be fairly close to us, but hit it on side. There it is right there. Right there, so take the boat out of gear, cursor over to it, put a dot on it. Make it bigger. Take a screenshot of this so you guys can look at it. Okay. So let's turn the boat around, line up on this thing, and see if we can hit it first cast. All right, guys, this is that Georgia Cube that we are hitting. If you don't know what a Georgia Cube is, basically it's a man made piece of structure that's meant for hold or for attracting fish. Basically, it's a big PVC cube that's got a bunch of uh, corrugated drain tubes attached to it. They basically fill it with sand and drop it to the bottom. That's what this is. And if you look in the shadows, you can kind of see an outline of the actual PVC structure as well as all that drain tubing that's kind of intermittently uh, within, within the actual structure itself. And actually, if you look right here, you will actually see a fish. So the little thin blue circle is the actual fish itself and then the green circle is the shadow for the fish okay guys so we're downwind of it now and we're kind of rotating the boat around to head straight toward this thing i'll switch it to the graph here in a second but we're kind of rotating the boat around so that we can, that way we can kind of get a straight line going toward it we're about 100 120 feet back right now and we're just going to kind of troll in that direction we're going to watch for that uh, heading vector to be in the right way all right, so here is the waypoint up here. We're gonna get our troll motor going, pointed right at it. You're gonna see that vector shoot up here. There it is, we're heading right for it. So we wanna keep that going in a straight line and once we kinda get to the edge of our circle here, we wanna be facing forward. So the idea is once we get that blue point to be at that 60 mark and since we're going in a straight line in the boat, we're trying to pick a target beyond, and it's gonna be that tree right there is what we're gonna be aiming at. So we're about 60 feet from it. We've got our mark that we're gonna be aiming at, 
and basically we're gonna just once we kind of get there on the graph I'm gonna hit spot lock on the troll motor that puts us keeps us right at this spot and that means that so we're 60 feet from the Georgia so we're 60 feet from the Georgia cube we've got our point that we're aiming at on the bank so we're gonna make a cast at that one tree that I just showed you and since everything is in line that Georgia cube is exactly is exactly 60 feet towards that tree from where the boat is right now so all we got to do is make a cast right at it and we should hit it okay guys switch into the GoPro here as you can see we are exactly 60 feet away I just hit spot lock so it's kind of turning around but we've got our line up straight at that tree right in front of us so if we make a cast right at it that means from I believe that cast is a little bit further than 60 feet but as we bring it back I should run into it sometime through here because if I cast beyond it and that lineup is right at oh oh there it's a rock that Georgia cube is somewhere between me and that one tree right in front of us there it is right there boat's kind of rotating on me a little bit there's not really a strong enough wind to kind of keep it pointing forward that's why it's important to always go into the wind when lining up on these waypoints just dragging it over the different parts of the cube I'm over it Okay, that was a brief rundown of how I like to set up or set up and approach fishing brush piles and George cubes and stuff like that. So I hope you found that helpful. It's something that you guys need to work at. It's not something that's super easy to do and all of a sudden you go out there and just it's you're just hitting everything all the time and it's super easy. It definitely takes a little bit of work to get good at. So give that stuff a try and see if it works for you. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more stuff to come. Thanks guys. I need to get back to graphing and keep looking at stuff. See you guys.